Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. And this time, it's a special treat. We're out here in Pebble Beach and today we're playing Poppy Hills Golf Course. It's the home of the Northern California Golf Association and boy oh boy is this place a treat. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe down below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We're gonna send it right out there to hole one. Here we go. Right off the back of the clubhouse and squeezing between the 9th and 18th greens, this first tee shot is a tight one right down this corridor of trees. Welcome to the Del Monte Forest. Now this course sits up on top of the hills about two miles away from Pebble Beach Golf Links and you can see the ocean and sometimes hear it off in the distance. This is a gorgeous sight. Now, after you've hit the fairway somewhere on your drive, hopefully you have a look into this green. It's sitting perched on the right hand side of the corridor here and all the fairway is gonna kick on down towards the right hand side and on to the green. Now there's very little rough out here at Poppy Hills, just a little bit to catch the very edge of the corridors here. Really no rough at all. Now my ball hooked off the trees and knocked down quite severely, just under 200 yards here into the green, and I'm trying to knock down a six iron into the breeze, and it kicked off to the right hand side into the trap. I forgot to record the bunker shot, and we're here six feet, eight feet under the hole for par. And man, these greens are bent grass and they are slippery. Don't let the little bit of sheen deceive you. These greens are perfect. Now there's that ocean peeking out in the distance. This first par three is over the ravine. Make sure you carry the distance though because it's a giant false front that's gonna kick it back down into the ravine if you're short. Now here a full eight iron to 175 yard flag here on the front edge of the green. I sent it way over the green, hit that one a little bit thin. It took a big bounce off the green and stuck up on top of the hill. I took the putter here off the fringe and that was a slippery one heading all the way down this slope. Tried to leave myself a makeable par putt, but eight feet away and I just wasn't gonna get the read of this putt. I thought that was gonna go back down towards the camera and towards the ravine, but it just wasn't meant to be. Now, hole number three here is quite possibly one of the prettiest holes on the entire golf course. Man, there's a lot of them out here that are gorgeous. Heading up the hill and wrapping around the corner, this par four is gonna play a little bit longer than the distance because it's heading up the hill. Now, if you choose to cut the corner and you're on the left-hand side, the ball's gonna be below your feet. But if you're over on the right-hand side of the fairway, you're gonna have a flat lie with a little bit longer coming into the green. Now everything up towards this green kicks from left to right, including that putting surface. Now here I am trusting the driver and trying to take it over the corner of the trees and I just had enough distance to get it down there just on the left hand side of the fairway here by about six inches. I had to play a pitching wedge here and knock it down to the front of the green. I was not comfortable flying it up into the air to this whole location. And, uh, you know, this golf course was so perfect. I just had to go fetch that big dollar bill divot and put it back. Here, 30 feet for birdie. It's nice to see some of these drops sometimes, but, you know, it's also nice to cozy it on down there for our first comfy tap in par of the vacation. And we can head on down to the first par five as well. It's time to feast. Heading slightly up the hill the entire way. This is 572 yards from the tips. And man, it's all you got. That bunker down the right will play as a central hazard off the tee. And hopefully you might have enough to clear it off the tee, really opening up this big wide corridor. Now, as we approach the green, the bunker on the left-hand side is now going to be your central hazard coming in. If you want to bail out, go way to the right, which is going to bring the green side bunkers into play, but it will give you a great shot. If you have enough, you can head it on up there and cut the corner here, 
threading through this neck of bunkers, you might get your shot to bound up onto the screen. Now giving it all I got with the driver, gonna play the cut off the tee here, which is the smooth and safe shot. And this one bounded down the fairway, leaving myself just under 300 yards to the flag. And I calculated that out to about 270 to the front edge. This three wood should fly about 275 in the air, and it did. Kicked through the fairway, through the green, and all the way towards the back here. It was a smooth lie, so I chose the putter and left it down here to four feet. A very makeable birdie putt. But of course, it just wanted to slide off right in front of the face. We're going to deal with the par and head on down to the toughest par four on the front nine. Number five here spins around and heads right back down towards the ocean and right back into the ocean breeze that we're going to be seeing the rest of the day. On that last green, you saw a little bit of it kicking up as it was playing downwind on the par five. And now we're playing right back into it. A big wide corridor off the tee again, which is really making you play the strategic angles here into the green. Hopefully you can drive it down the left and that will bring the bunker on the left into play with some hole locations, but today it's right smack in the front. Hopefully not bringing any of that trouble into play. Now, I just absolutely fanned this tee shot. We were smack right back into the wind. I tried to play something cute, and I just sprayed it over onto the other fairway. But sometimes in pressure situations, I'm able to pull off a great shot, hitting a punch five iron here from the other fairway under the trees, and I was able to knock it up just short of our green. You can see here how much these greens really roll out here at Poppy Hills. You've got to be precise with your short game or you're going to be leaving yourself 10 and 20 footers for par all day long. The flat stick just wasn't cooperating quite yet. And we were facing another bogey. Three of them through five holes is not an ideal start, but this is a tough golf course. Now, the second par three of the day, the sixth hole here is going to be a mid iron for most. 175 yards to a middle hole location today. Now this is a driving range eight iron distance for me and I just straight pushed it out to the right. Just over the bunker on the right, I was here on the fairway and played a little bump and run shot with my pitching wedge trying to get it down there close. I was underneath the hole with an uphill putt, makeable here. Another disappointing bogey. That's two bogeys on the two par threes. Oh man, it's time to start playing some better golf here. Now the seventh hole is wrapping back up the hill and towards the left, a gorgeous par four here. Make sure you air off to the right a little bit though. That bunker on the left is deep and treacherous. I know the hole wraps around it, but man, that is nowhere you want to be. As you can see, this green is just perched on the side of the hill here, surrounded by bunkers on all sides. Luckily, there is an angle for you to bounce up and approach from the front of the green, but you're not going to get it close to that back hole location. Now a near carbon copy to the tee shot on the fifth hole. It was time I figured out this tee ball. I was trying to turn it over to the left and lost it to the right here in the trees. And I'll let my dad take over the commentary from here. Perfectly right in the middle of the green. I couldn't really ask for more. 25 feet underneath the hole. Let's hit a terrible putt. Gosh, there's nothing worse than hitting a great shot and then a terrible putt. And an even worse one when I stepped over the four footer and missed the par putt. Okay, it's time to start making some birdies here. Now the par four eighth hole is supposedly easier than the seventh, but it's longer more severe of a dog leg and a tighter tee shot. 
So, yeah, you take it as it will. Now, wrapping around the right-hand side, hopefully you can perfectly place your drive here down the right, and you'll catch a little speed slot down the hill. And you can see this green sitting down the hill about five yards adjusted from the fairway. And this front hole location will hopefully be fed by the fairway just in front of the green. Now, after missing the ball twice to the right, I decided to embrace it and just let it go right once again. And well, we're right down the center stripe of the fairway. A little knockdown, down 60 degree wedge here. I was trying to play for the one hop off the front fringe and I just landed it about three yards too short. It just barely held up in the front fringe, hitting the putter here and you can see it's just gonna roll out underneath the camera, but nothing I can't tap in for par and we can head down to the next par five, the closing hole on the here on the front nine. Oh boy, this is a cool and really gettable par five. The ninth hole here, hit your tee shot up on top of the hill over these two bunkers, and how nice is it that there's no rough in front or around those bunkers? No matter where you miss it, you're gonna miss it in the fairway, unless of course you put it right in the sand. Now this plateau here is gonna give you a look down onto the green, which is way down the hill and over this ravine. The dry barranca here is gonna serve as your primary hazard. You're gonna be able to play your ball out of there, but you can see it's a sandy, dry area and nowhere you wanna be. This green is gorgeous here, sitting right next to the first tee box and just implanted into the hill. The renovation here that they did five years ago was worth it. Now it was time to start embracing the cut, so we aimed on the left-hand side of the corridor and just sprayed it out the, to the right, right over the bunkers and down the fairway. Now. 235 yards to the flag. I took a full four iron here, tried to thread it through the trees, hit one crazy golf shot that landed front right of the green and bounded down here to 15 feet, just underneath the hole for Eagle. But it's a four foot tap in birdie putt on the ninth hole here, and we can get one back, back to four over par. Hey like the video, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Later.